Mitten University is an amazing place. I've only been there once, just went for the afternoon. It's pretty confusing though, there are so many different colleges and buildings. I was lost in its winding corridors and cavernous libraries for several days. It was a haunting experience, but I must say, very picturesque. Felicity Bellbottom speaking for you, the students, in every sense, on Campus Radio. Up next, we'll be talking about power napping, comforting dream or confusing nightmare. Find out after this. Students are reminded that there's no such thing as free time. are reminded that some grades are personal.
reminded that dogs don't eat homework. Students struggle to get enough sleep. That's why Campus Radio's very own Maggie Watmore has been trying out the latest techniques to fit some much needed rest into a busy schedule. That's right, I've been trying out power napping, the day's craze sweeping through campus like that fungus in the showers. For those of you that don't know, power napping, or turbo kipping, is a practice that allows you to sleep on the spot, grabbing some valuable rest time between classes. I think I almost did it for a moment, but then I realised I was 45 minutes late for a lecture. <laughs> but no, yeah, I actually feel really well rested. We're sorry for the litter that you... Oh, sorry, that's mine. You students should make a good first impression. No pressure. Now taking students for robotics. The timetable is not written in stone. Still, we're not changing it. story of an arts college with no paint in sight. Hugh. Yes, the students at Fitzpocket Academy were supposed to be taking a class in oil painting this year. 
but their funding allocation has shifted, and so too has the earth beneath the feet of their expectations. I was lucky enough to speak to one student. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame, but it's all right. I'll just take the class next year. A brave face on an even braver student. This is just another story of student funding crushing the hopes and indeed dreams of some fine art students. All they wanted was some paint. But for now, the funding has dried up and with it, the oil paint well. Janitor required for groundskeeping. Thank you. Yes, we are testing you. What am I going to do with my life? I just don't know. Orb. Huh? What? Come to an Orb Foundation Learning Center and replace your mind with the power of the Orb. Oh, amazing. I'll do that then. Thanks. Students are reminded to have the time of their lives.
if it's not on your CV, it didn't happen. Not to me. Point County Professor Hercules Cheesewater recently came under fire after publishing work they found on the bus. The professor has now responded to the allegations, saying, Inspiration can come from the strangest of places. So true, Professor. In fact, I find all my coursework on public transport, proofread and ready to hand in. Plagiarism is not a belief system.
are reminded to set reminders. Announcement. The campus just got bigger. Not necessarily better. Taking your medication because it's time for the Harrison Wolf Show here on Two Point Radio, and it's gonna be a wild ride. Yo, yo, and hello, it's Harrison Wolf coming at you with the dulcet sounds of the underground. We've got a good one for you today, but first, I should probably turn some lights on. Fully enlightened radio coming up next. Research project complete. Aren't you clever? Thank you. 
can't have an extension. A lot of people ask me, Harrison, what can I do to be more subversive? And I say, first things first, you gotta throw out that question. There's nothing less punk than asking for instructions. You gotta take out the toy, burn the manual, and use the box to make yourself a groovy fort. That being said, today I'll be dishing out some details on how to be a more subversive you. Staff are reminded to care about students. Your food is cold because the oven wasn't on. Breakfast is a concept. You think it's real, but it's just another lesson taught to you by the